Welcome to a video from thedigitallifes.com. We have a new build of Windows 10 to look at. This is build 16.2.5.1. Windows Insiders on the fast ring. And uh, this is available to the Windows Insiders who are on the fast ring who selected the next build or the other option being the skip ahead. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So this is a new option introduced um, this week where you can now choose whether you want to have the uh, next build, as in the next build of Windows 10 that's coming, the one that you've been testing, or to skip ahead so um, to the one after that. So as we're getting to the end of the Windows 10 Fall Creators Update development process, this is going to be released to uh, general Windows consumers soon. So if you've got the next version of Windows 10, that means you'll get that Fall Creators Update and um, you won't get updates to the inbox app so like um, paint or groove or anything like that you're going to be testing what's going out to consumers when the fall update fall creators update is released if you choose the skip ahead option you'll be getting uh, the version of windows that microsoft are working on after the one that's been released so redstone 4 this is redstone 3 now it'll be redstone 4 currently they're both the same on this build that we've got today but that's going to go forward in the future so um if you want to test what's coming next, then you have the next one. If you want to test what's coming next and what's coming beyond that, then you have the skip ahead version. Okay, right. Well, what's new in this build? Well, we've actually got a new feature, uh, which is quite surprising because it's in, we're fairly late on in the development process. You'll find this new feature here in settings, and it's called phone. And the idea of this is you can start work, uh, start browsing on your phone, and... Um, then continue on your PC where you left off from, from your phone. I mean, how often, that happens to me quite often. I'm browsing uh, a page on the phone. I think, oh, this is quite interesting. I'd like to uh, do a blog post about it or just read it in more detail. So um, I've tried all sorts. You know, you copy and paste it into OneNote. Or you email yourself. Well, you don't have to do that anymore. You link your phone to this Windows 10 and then you can share the link directly to your PC. So the first thing you have to do, you have to enable your phone. It currently only works with Android, but it will work with iPhone as well, and currently no mention of Windows Phone. Uh, so all you do is you click to add your phone, and you fill in your phone's um, telephone number in here, click send. It sends an SMS and to an app, which is the Microsoft app that's available on Android already, and then in there there's an option to try out the, um, this feature, uh, sort of browse later. And uh, there's a there's a try it now option, and basically what it does it adds a new share target in Android. So in Android, uh, just as you could do in, in say in Windows now, you can share something, uh, ask you what application, and there's a an option to uh, to share the the web page. So I'm going to do that on my Android phone now. Obviously you can't see what I'm doing. I've not got that linked up here for the screen sharing. So I go to share on a web page and. When I click share, one of the share targets is continue on a PC. So I do that. It then asks me if you want to continue now or continue later. Then um, if you select continue now, it's supposed to open the page on this PC. If you select, uh, if you select continue later, it adds uh, an action in Action Center, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, once you select either of those options, you, it'll, you'll see all your Windows 10 devices and you can select your target. So I've just sent that over to my PC. So if I go down here to Action Center, you can see here I've got uh, continue from your phone. So these are three websites which I shared. Um, and I've been sharing links as you can see those going through. So if I pick one of those, it, it then fires up um, and you can see there the links coming through there. So these are those notifications. So that is a really good way of opening a page on your phone and then getting back on here on your PC. What I found when I've been testing this is that um, if I do the continue now, it doesn't actually work. Um, it starts to do it and then comes up with a, uh, an error message on my phone. If I do continue later, it, as you've seen, it has um, fired those up on there. Uh, so that has worked okay. So I guess there's still some more work to be done uh, by Microsoft on that one. Okay, what else is new in this build? 
There's new Cortana options, so let's try this. Um, let's try uh, Manchester weather. Mm -hmm. And you see it expands out like that. So uh, that's a new feature in the way that Cortana returns those uh, those results. The other option, uh, the thing that's new is, um, and I'm not going to trigger these now because if I do, I'll, uh, I'll lose our rec screen recording, but there are options to restart the PC, turn off the PC, sign out and lock the PC. So you say the usual trigger word being hey, Cortana. And uh, then you say restart PC or turn off PC and it will restart those options and you get a verbal confirmation and you say yes. So you can say something like hey Cortana and lock PC and it will do that and um, it asks you confirmation. Now I did get this working on my um, other devices that aren't running, that are running the creators update. So I'm not quite sure why this is a new option. Um, Maybe someone can help me exp explain that to me. So uh, I, I don't start. That's been working on my other builds. So uh, that's not necessarily a new feature for that for me. All right, okay. Some other stuff. They've improved the input panels and uh, the on-screen keyboard. I actually quite like this new on-screen keyboard, um, especially for the swipe gestures. I think it works quite well. And uh, they've changed some of the sounds on it as well. There's improvements to Microsoft Edge. Um, well, no longer rescale tiles when in tablet mode with a narrow viewpoint width. So if you're in, say, portrait mode or snapped, and they fixed issues with copy links and they feel fixed issues with opening PDFs and things like that. And uh, they've improved some issues with game mode as well. So those are the improvements. There's a number of other minor things. They fixed the issue with the... Um, high dpi settings so before when you went to the on this surface for example when i went round and sort of hovered over and clicked over those they wouldn't work they, they didn't line up so the mouse was up here at the top and it was activating the buttons down here at the bottom so they fixed that as well uh, there's a number of fixes in there and they fixed the issues with groove mini play and so on uh, there are a couple of new issues um around storage space and it's not working if you upgraded from build 16.226 or 16.237 between those builds um so see the release notes on that one. And there's some other issues around uh, resetting of static IPs, going back to DHCP when you when you apply the builds. So those are the main changes. The uh, continue PC from your phone is a, a really good option. Um, so it's coming to uh, Android soon. Uh, so iOS soon, it's all over really Android. Didn't work for me with this uh, immediate option, but the other option, uh, the, 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 the try later option, did seem to work okay. Right, so that's it for this build, and uh, look out for the phone build, which is, I'm going to um, do a video of soon as well. So thanks for watching this one, and we'll see you on the next one.